A battle is brewing between the Detroit City Council Building Safety Department as well that fallout over a historic building set for demolition. It's owned by Illich Holdings and located in the Cass Corridor. CBS News Detroit's Gino Vici has more on the battle on Cass Avenue in Detroit. Yes, at last night's city council meeting, there was lots of discussions on how to save this building here in the Cass Corridor. But as you can see, the time is ticking. It's already fenced off. It's ready to be torn down. But despite these last ditch efforts, the city says there is no way this building can be saved and they've got the pictures to prove it. I am shocked that this uh, building is the request is coming now. Dave Bell is the director of the Building Safety Engineering and Environmental Department with the City of Detroit and says this building located here at 3143 Cass Avenue needs to go. Portions of the roof has collapsed, portions of the interior walls have collapsed. Um, it, it, it needs to come down. Bell says he questions why the efforts to save it are happening right now, considering it's been slated to be demolished for five years, and considering it was city council who initially approved tearing it down based on his recommendation. In my opinion, this should have been brought up back in 2018. Bell provided CBS Detroit proof the roof has collapsed, the floors are collapsed, and structurally, he says this building is a hazard and therefore has been given the green light to be torn down. Bell wants to be clear he's not against preserving history. I am all for preserving historic structures. In this particular situation, it is our opinion that this building needs to come down immediately versus waiting for 30 days to, to do a study and see what we can do. I, I can't support that. At last night's city council meeting, there was a discussion about how to delay the demolition for 30 days in order to review it and perhaps restore it. The building is 140 years old and part of a once thriving Chinatown district in Detroit. The current owners, Illich Holdings, agreed to tear it down after building and safety cited it as being dangerous. As far as saving it, Bell says it's too late. I wouldn't be surprised if it comes down within the next seven days. I don't have an exact time, but I wouldn't be surprised if it comes down in the next seven days. In Detroit, Gino Vici, CBS News, Detroit.